You're probably wondering, how do I get better at Skywars, how do I win more games, and how do I get more kills? Well, you might be new to the game, or you might not be, but either way, you want to know how to improve your stats. Well, in this video, we're going to be going over that, so if you enjoy, drop a like, and if you're brand new, be sure to hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel a lot. Now, I'm just a random 26 star, like, not a lot of people know me, I'm not, like, super well known in the community. What qualifications do I have to be giving you tips? That's just the thing. Even though I've been playing the game for years, I can't prove that I am a reliable source, which is why I asked a bunch of the top Skywars players and content creators what their tips are, and I'm going to be making this video based off their responses. So starting off with the basics, before you even go into a game, you need to make sure you're prepared. You're going to want to go to the shop, go to kits and perks, and make sure, like, you know what perks and kits you're going to use. Now, if you just started the game, you are only going to have, like, uh, the default kit, which is fine. Everyone starts off with the default kit at some point. The default kit now isn't as bad as it used to be. You start off with the Diamond Sword, and that's already pretty good. That's at least for Insane Mode. Now, if you're new, I'd recommend maybe playing Normal Mode, um, because that way you can mine diamonds on people. And even though it's an annoying strategy, it still works. So if you're going to start off, like, if you just got your account, and you're wanting to learn Sky Wars, and you're doing Normal Mode, here's what I would do. Go to your Normal Perks. Make sure you have Bulldozer, Juggernaut, Savior, and Mining Expertise on. Now these two, uh, Fruit Finder and Tenacity, I'm more prestiged up in Skywars, so I have access to perks that new players wouldn't have access to. So instead of having these, I would maybe have Barbarian, because if you can get an axe and you can kill some people, you can get a pretty good axe. And the second perk would be probably Environmental Expert, because the environment does a lot more damage than you think. I mean, technically, we're doing damage to the environment right now with all the pollution, but whatever. Now, if you're wanting to try on Sane mode, which is where, like, you get a bunch more gear, uh, here's what I would do. I'd, again, go Bulldozer, along with Juggernaut, Savior. Now, not everyone is going to have this perk. Um, Diamond Piercer, you get it from the Tournament Hall. You get it from getting tournaments, and you only need 50 Tribute in order to get Diamond Piercer. It's a really good... Oh, never mind. It costs 100. Oops. It costs 100 Tribute to get it. Basically what it does is it does an extra 20% increase of damage whenever someone has a piece of diamond armor. So if someone has like one diamond helmet, there's a 20% chance you'll get 20% increased damage. But if they have like full diamond, there's an 80% chance that the perk will activate. So if you can, try to get that, but a lot of people might not have that when they first start off. So I'd also go with environmental expert. Then I also have like fruit finder and tenacity if you're a newer player, but if you're not, I would maybe go with uh, Knowledge, because if you get, like, a few kills, you can, like, easily combine swords together and get a super good sword, along with maybe Black Magic, because Ender Pearls can, like, be a huge game changer if you get them. There's also a video down below for uh, some loadouts you can use, but that's just my recommendation. Uh, there's a better video in the description made by AoE, who is currently a leaderboard player, number 8 over uh, for levels, number 9 on wins, and number 6 on kills. All right, so now that we're in the game, we're going to go over some kits. Now, so let's say you have enough coins to get some kits. I would recommend going Farmer or Knight, maybe even Scout. They're all good kits. If you have enough heads, try to get Chrono Breaker. Uh, your first Mythical kit is going to cost 25 heads. So once you get that, go Chrono Breaker. A lot of uh, veteran players are going to like be annoyed that I said this and call it a bad kit. Well, it's not bad. It's just overpowered, which is why you should use it. Well. Okay, I'm going to make a bunch of people mad at me. Anyway, so when you're in a game, instantly rush middle. This, this way you can get, like, a bunch of the best stuff in the game. Oh, God. All right. Always try to be aggressive. Get kills if you know that you can win the fight. Like, for example, I completely outgeared that guy, so I knew I could win the fight. I have strength, so I can actually just rush this guy. Even though he outgears me, I can rush him because I have strength. That's what Bulldozer does. Bulldozer is such a nice perk to have, and I recommend it 110%. All right, so it looks like we kind of control middle right now, which is good. That chest was looted. Ooh, but they left everything. Hello. Nope, this is my middle. All right, I'll gear this guy. Oh, he has ender pearls. Oof. All right, I don't know what that person's doing. So apart from, like, maybe boots and a, uh, enchanted boots and a chest plate, I pretty much out gear everyone. So I can just aggro fights right now. Oh, God. Ugh. That person almost used the corner to his advantage. That was almost bad. Hello, I outgear you. Die. Heh, <laughs> good day. Another thing you should do is try to use the map to your advantage. Like, all these holes here, like, you could easily just knock someone into them. And... <laughs> Whee! Okay, that was a cheeky final kill, but, I mean, 
play smart, be aggressive if you can, and you can get a bunch of kills and easily win the game. So if you're a newer player, I'd maybe try like switching to Farmer Kit if you haven't already. Um, because it gives you diamond pants and you could probably just go to middle just by looting like up to two chests. One if you get really lucky. Like just like this, I already have a kill. I already have two kills. And like pretty decent armor and I'm already at mid. Now it looks like other people were also uh, getting to mid pretty fast. So I'm missing out on some of the stuff. But I can still get like a, a decent amount of kills. Come here. No, no, no. You don't get to run. I did not give you permission to do that. Ah! Thank you. Looks like someone didn't... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of loot. Never underestimate a mob, by the way. Like, there's been many times where a mob has saved me uh, in Sky Wars. Both, it, like, both saved me and killed me, but usually it's like the other, like, your opponent's mob that kills you. Like, mobs are OP, and people don't really seem to use them a lot. Okay, that person just got strength, so we're going to run from that person. Never aggro someone if they just have gotten strength. they just fall off? No? Okay. Okay, never aggro anyone if they've just gotten strength. That's a terrible thing to do. Um, because Bulldozer, again, it gives you strength for five seconds right after you kill someone. So if you see someone get a kill, run away. Alright, that was probably, like, a dumb thing for me to, like, try and do because... He could have easily just bowed me off or egged me on this bridge, but it worked out anyways. I geared them just by a little bit, and I had a better sword, so I could aggro them knowing I can win the fight, assuming they didn't knock me off. So once you figure out what kits you want to use and, like, your perk loadout and all that, like, you know understand, like, the basic game sense of the game, I'd say start, like, watching other players play the game. Like, uh, watch Twitch streams, uh, YouTube videos, or whatever and like see what other people are doing that you could also be doing to win the game. Uh-oh. Okay, he knocked me in a bad area, so I'm gonna actually hide down here for a moment. I kind of want him to jump down here, because then I can just crit him out like this. Okay, they're backing off, so I can probably come up now. Okay, that person got strength, we're gonna run away. Except they're also in a bad area, so I can probably just knock them off. Oh, never mind. That's what you get for playing dumb. <laughs> Remember to always play smart if you can. Yeah, that was actually the first loss of this video. I'm going to be keeping in every game I play. So, it's especially including that one, because that's another point. Play smart. Don't be like me and play dumb. Like, I thought I could get cheeky and, like, knock them off, but it, it didn't work. I should have just kept my distance, then I would go in at a later time. Alright, that person got strength. I'm going to back off for a second. But they're also running away. Maybe I can egg them. Ooh. We actually have some decent gear. I'm going to try to grab this real quick. There's a lot of people here, though. That person has strength. But they also have, like, not a lot of gear. So I can probably take them. Uh-oh. Okay, they stole my kill. I need to, like, run away. Uh. <laughs> Alright, we have pretty decent gear right now. <laughs> Alright, there's a person right here. There's a person right here. Maybe I can knock this person off real quick. Hey, we got him. Alright, we have strength, so let's try to use this to our advantage. There's a person right over here. Oh, wait, they're actually... They have, like, no stuff. I can aggro them easily. Boom. Didn't get a lot of kills, because uh, I didn't really... I have a chance to get a lot. My kill was stolen by another person, but we still won the game. That's all that really matters. Here's another important thing about Skywards that you should all keep in mind. Like... You don't have to win every game. Like, sure, it's nice to win every game, but, like, if you get mad over, like, losing a game, then th that's just not a good mindset to have, you know? Like, it's best just to, like, sure, you like, winning is, like, the objective. Like, try to win if you can, but, like, don't, like, be sweating 24-7. Like, try to win every single game. That just takes all the fun out of it, and you won't, like, enjoy the game as much anymore. I used to be like that all the time. I needed to win every single game, and I used to get really mad whenever I lost. And it was just not good. But then I just stopped caring whether I lost a game or not. Uh, just try to, like, even have fun. Like, I would even die on purpose sometimes if, like, I could have fun with my death. Like, just stop trying to take the game so seriously. Still try to have fun. And I'm probably going to die to this person, so I'm going to pearl away. Oh, okay. So yeah, still try to have fun while playing the game. 
but it's it's okay to like still try to win like you guys get what I'm trying to say What this person stealing all my kills no whatever Ooh, also have like good map knowledge like for example I'm gonna go cryomancer on this map and here's why so I'm gonna get like some basic stuff real quick all right so I'm gonna get armor right projectiles and a weapon and then I'm just gonna throw this it makes an instant ice bridge to middle and just like that I have a head start and everyone else I still have to bridge a little bit because I kind of threw it wrong I think all right but because I spawn on the side islands I could easily do that to get to middle and now I'm here before anyone else. I have a prot for chest plate. Oh, yeah, no one else is here. Wow, except that person. All right, I just took all the stuff so that they can. Now I can probably kill them because I think I they don't. I don't really outgear them, but we have like. Pretty, oh, they gave me the rod. I'm gonna take that actually so that they can't have it anymore. It's all mine. There's a person behind me. I hear them. They outgear me a lot, but I have a knockback three fishing rod, so I can just do that and I can get strength and kill this other person that's coming up. Wait, I'm just going to KB3 everyone off. Goodbye. Alright, where's the last person? Uh-oh. Alright, this might be an issue. I'm going to back off for a bit. Come on, skeleton. Get him. Get him, skeleton. No! Fire damage. Darn. Finally, one of the last things I can recommend. Oh, I forgot to change my kit. Always remember to change your kits. <laughs> That's the last thing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, the last thing I can recommend is just practice, you know? Uh, practice, like, no one likes to hear just practice because, you know, that takes forever and, like, you don't have, like, time to practice. You need to get good instantly overnight, become the number one leaderboard player. Like, no, that, that's not going to happen. We got to think realistic. Just practice. In the long run, you'll get better and you'll win a lot more games. And, like, don't just practice Skywars. Like, yeah, I, I get... Uh oh I get you're here to, like, uh, learn how to get better at Skywars, but one of the ways to get better at Skywars is to practice other games, like duels, for example. I have over 20,000 uh, duels wins, and I've gotten so much better at PvP just by playing duels, especially UHC duels. There's a good mix of average and very sweaty players in UHC duels, so you could practice on, like, the like normal players then you can like get your occasional sweat and then like you'll just start being able to kill sweats so, like quite easily i'm currently uhc godlike and i've gotten so good just by playing uhc duels so that's like one of the best ways to improve your pvp aspects and that can help in skywars a lot skywars used to be not a very pvp oriented game you could just like play smart and you could win every game but now recently within the past few years it's become very pvp based so yeah, uh, practice a lot, like play other modes, like you can get game mechanics or like different game mechanics that can even like be applied in Skywars itself. Uh, and like, just like, if you mess up and you don't know like how you keep like dying or failing, I'd recommend like grabbing a clip of you dying and just like watching it over to like try to identify what you're doing wrong. Like sometimes you can like, you'll blame lag or cheats on something. But like, if you rewatch it, you can see exactly what someone did that caused you to die. And you'll realize, oh, okay, maybe I didn't die to lag or cheats. They just are better or smarter in this type of aspect. So then you can practice in that way. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Nothing I could've really done there. <laughs> so yeah, those are my tips on how to get better at Skywars and really just any mode in general. Um, like this doesn't just have to apply to Skywars. Yes, I know I went over like Skywars kits, Skywars strategies and all that. But like if you take like some of the other aspects of like watching other YouTubers, uh, practicing and just like everything else, you can get better at pretty much any mode. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.